Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new episode of me and Jane Z. And today we are just once again talking about things that we all maybe struggle with, that we all need help with, and maybe somewhere we will find something that will help us just make it a little easier, a little better. And that is what I want to do with this. You know discuss our problems as Gen Z and other generations but we're focusing on Gen Z because we have unique problems that you generations before us didn't have to face and generations after us maybe won't have to face so I really want to talk about some of the things we face and some of them might apply to other people other generations but these are things I struggle with and I think we just need to start a conversation and maybe find solutions to these things. Now, we've talked in the earlier episodes of this podcast about the increased rates of anxiety and depression among our generation. But today I want to talk about one other thing as well, and that is stress. Now, stress isn't generation specific. Stress is something that every single person deals with. But something that adds stress to I think us as Gen Z is the expectation of greatness. Let me try to explain this better because people younger and younger are starting to achieve more and more. And if you are at a certain age and you're still just working your nine to five job and you're not exactly you know where you want to be yet, it can uh, put a lot of pressure on you to try and achieve things now and immediately because people younger than you are achieving more than you. And that is a really stressful kind of situation to be in. And then there's the added stress of going to work every day, maybe a job you don't want to do, but you have to, to take care of yourself and your family. It just adds to the stress. And then perhaps dealing with difficult people, or difficult situations just adds to the stress and stress is deadly so today um i just want to talk about managing stress i think we can do a separate video on perhaps how to um not let expectations burden you and how to be accepting of your own journey and where you are as opposed to comparing yourself with others um i've done something similar but i think if we can or if you guys want to we can discuss that again uh, with relation to the stress to achieve. But today I just want to talk about general stress that we face during a week, during a work week. And I'm taking this um, from personal experience because after a week, by Friday, if I don't have to work on the Saturday, by the Friday, at the end of the day, I'm fine because I get to go home and now I get to relax and actually do things that I enjoy. But during that week, my body fights with me every single day. And people are like, but get enough sleep, exercise, feed yourself well. And the thing is, sometimes you can do all of that things. You can even let things roll off your shoulders or just let it go and sometimes the stress just catches up to you no matter if you're doing everything right sometimes the stress is there and you don't even notice it but your body is your body will tell you that listen I, i'm stressed and um if you're someone like me who is working because you know you need to support yourself and you know you need to support your family and you actually want to um you know, get the finance to support your actual dream and you go to work every day and it's, you, you go with a good attitude and you go and you're happy and you try your best to do your best and you still want to do well because you, even though it's maybe not your dream job, you still want to do well and, um, you still want to, you know, uh, give your best in even this job that maybe you don't want to do for the rest of your life. I, uh, the stress, stress, let's get back to stress. I think after a week, you need to de-stress. Now, some people work weekends 
and some don't so some have the weekends off but I think that if you can you need to take a day or 30 minutes or an hour to de-stress after a long week because if you don't and you hold on to that stress your body is going to start fighting with you and maybe when you notice it's going to be too late you need to give yourself and your body the time to decompress to de-stress and to just unwind even if it's only for 30 minutes after a long week so because some saturdays i work i like to de-stress and do my de-stressing on a sunday which is kind of tough because on sunday you're already preparing for monday but we'll get into that so there are different ways and you need to find which which one works for you some people like to go for a walk some people like to go jogging some people like to write but you need to find something where you can completely relax let go and just forget about everything that happened that week and let go and just de-stress so i like to do some self-care do a little self-care routine uh, just feel good you know relax and feel good then i like uh, i'm journaling every day in my own unique way so i still do that but that is more a part of my daily routine and then i just like to listen to music any type of music either i'll lay down and listen to it or i'll dance in my room listening to music and just forget about everything that happened in the week just unwind just let go shake the stress out of my muscles out of my body and get my body to a place where it can you know face the week that is coming because getting rid of stress is important they always say good a small amount of stress is good for you know achieving your goals and that's true but when stress gets excessive it is dangerous and if you don't make the time to get rid of it it is dangerous as well it has severe severe health um uh effect effects on your health it has really really bad side effects on your health um you can google some of the things that happen just due to stress you can actually get physically ill just because of stress and that is why it's really important to make sure that you make the time to let go of the stress if you can't do it after every single work that i get it i can't either we just don't have the time make sure that you make time after the after the week is done to just let go of that stress because that stress adds up and your body starts getting you know, your body starts hurting your brain starts hurting you're feeling demotivated that walks you straight into anxiety and, and depression and then you know i'm not saying making sure you de-stress is going to solve all your problems but it's going to at least help you to just make sure that you take care of yourself even if it's just for 30 minutes and to make sure that the stress doesn't just add on top of each other and start and keeps building and building and building until one day you actually just your body just caves in okay so that is the one thing that i want to stress make sure that you make time to de-stress even if you only have 30 minutes after the week is done before you have to get back to doing it make sure you make the time and do something that you find relaxing do something where your mind can switch off and you can just forget about the week if it's running exercising if it's reading if it's listening to music if it's taking a bubble bath do it for your own health because we talk about taking care of our mental health and this is a part of it making time to relax and unwind and decompress just getting rid of the stress that has built up over that entire work week you need to let go sometimes you may think to yourself i'm not even stressed i don't feel stressed i had a good week the thing is even though you feel that way sometimes there is hidden stress that you don't even know about that you just need to spend time and let go and give yourself time to relax now preparing for a new work week is always a tough one for me i get to a sunday evening and i feel overridden with anxiety i don't want to go back to work i'm tired i just want to but then i need to remind myself that feeling that that making myself feel these things is dangerous to my health and 
is not going to help me. If I try to change how I look at the work week, I will actually maybe have a better week. So instead of focusing on my anxieties about going back to an, into another week, I focus on making sure that I have everything ready for the coming week, whether that is meal prepping or planning out my schedule uh, of what I need to get done in that week. Just making sure that I have a plan for that week already makes me feel less stressed about that week. Now, everybody has different ways they like to prepare for a week, but I do think putting in some preparation for a new week is key. And maybe uh, listening to something motivational or reading something uh, that helps a self-help book maybe uh, to just prepare yourself for the new upcoming week will make you go into that week with a bit of a more positive attitude and just, uh, you know, hopefully start the week off right and uh, maybe even lessen some of the stress during the week knowing that you've planned and prepared for the week that is coming. So um, it's a bit of a shorter one today, but I really wanted to stress, no pun intended, the importance of getting rid of your stress because stress is dangerous people and you don't always know that it's there. So you need to make the time. We make time to take care of our mental health, correct? We make time to journal about getting rid of anxious feelings and negative thoughts, which is fantastic. But we also need to make sure we make time to just de-stress, make time where we're relaxing, not thinking about anything, just letting go of the week. Getting rid of your stress is really important because you don't want it to start building and building and then for your body to just say, I can't anymore and then to cave in. Take care of yourself now. Get rid of your stress as much as you can now. Before it's too late, before it's a mountain, uh, do it every single day if you can. Maybe at the end of the week if that works better for you, but make sure that you focus on getting rid of that stress because stress is dangerous stress is seriously in excess amounts it's not a good thing like i said small amounts may help push you to achieve your goals but when it gets dangerous to dangerous levels guys you you're doing serious damage to your body and that is why you need to make the time to take care of every aspect of your health and that includes de-stressing after a long week and making sure you're prepared for a new one to limit the amount of stress that you place on yourself during the week. That is it from me guys. I really hope you enjoyed this episode and please comment down below some of the things you do to de-stress. If you're watching on YouTube or if you're listening to the podcast, you can go and comment on my socials. Uh, what are some of the favorite things you like to do to just de-stress and unwind after a long week? Let us know and start a conversation if you want to, if you have any tips or if you need any advice, feel free to ask. That is it from me today, guys. I hope to chat to you guys again soon. Have a good week.